Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Flight 74 comes in from the east about 12.01? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my girlfriend's on that plane. Uh, Vivian Bagley. I mean, her name used to be Vivian Bagley, but now it's Vivian Bunsen. She got married again. <laughs> Flight number 74 is now coming in for a landing. Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, isn't this exciting? Oh, look. Someone's hanging out of the plane. Why, that's the landing gear. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I just wanted to be back there. I thought it would be very nice if I was right there at the bottom of the steps when Viv came out of the plane. Oh, I'm sorry, miss, but you can't go out there. There's Viv. There's Viv. 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 <laughs> Have you had breakfast? Oh, no. I just had lunch. Oh, I forgot the difference in time. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now that I'm in California, I'm three hours younger. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, that's my jar. Here, let me carry this for you. Angie. Oh, boy, that's heavy. What do you got in here? A bunch of present? What? A big bag of oranges. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm glad you finally got here. Gee, have I got a big surprise for you. Oh, please. Please, no, no, no games. Not on the dance. I'm waiting to find out uh, who came to see us. But you... Surprise! Hello, Mr. Mooney. Oh, my. What? <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I asked Viv to come here because I didn't want her sitting alone in my apartment all day waiting for me, so I didn't think you'd mind if she waited until I finished work. Well, not at all. Not at all. Of course, you must excuse us. We have a lot of important work today. Oh, don't mind me. Just go right ahead. You right. sit right over here, darling. Oh, okay. And put your bags right over here. Take off your coat. Oh, Here's right. a magazine. I just know you're going to love her some wild things in uh, here. Oh, right, Mrs. Mrs. Carmine, yes, sir. will you bring your ledger over here, Yes, please? sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, have now, will you refer to page 44? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, now, 44. Oh, Lucy, I'm... look at this gown. <gasps> I love that. Yeah, that that's the one, Viv. Ooh. Is that too much? Oh, of course, you have to have the figure for it. Oh, say, did you notice I've lost a lot of weight? I'm down to a size 12, and that's without my girdle. Yeah, I sure did notice. I noticed that on the way home from the airport. Oh, you did? Yeah, we never had that much room in the cab before. <laughs> Since I got married, I just stopped eating between meals. You did? Yep. I just eat my six meals a day now, and that's it. Six meals? Uh-huh. I have to keep up my strength. If I don't, it gets a week I can't eat. And if I can't eat, I don't have the energy for those singing lessons. Oh, you're giving singing lessons? Not giving, taking. Oh, how wonderful. How are you doing? Oh, wait till you hear me. Not here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mooney. But I want you to hear me before I leave town. Oh, I want to hear you, Viv. I want to. My husband refers to me as his happy little canary. Ah, oh, that's cute. Cute? A hundred and fifty pound canary? <laughs> Oh, Viv, would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, I'd love to have a cup of coffee. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Mooney? 
Oh, it'll be just like old times having a cup of coffee with you. Oh, and I got so much to ask you. Oh, and I've got so much to tell you. Have you? Mm-hmm. Before I left home, I went to the beauty parlor and I picked up all the local gossip. Oh, wonderful. Anybody wants me, I'll be out in my car. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Mooney, aren't you going to stay and have coffee with us? What is it? You're right. He hasn't changed a bit. He sure hasn't. And I'm so glad he's gone. Now we can gossip all we want to. Tell me about everybody. Well, now, let's see. When I was in the beauty parlor, I heard something about Helen and Joe Walton's son. You mean little Herbie Walton? Yeah, you remember him? Certainly. I was at his high school graduation. I heard that all he does is hang around that Sunset Strip. Yeah. Well, they said he's, uh, oh, he just got so he looks very unusual. Like what? Well, he's got hair down to his shoulders, and he's got a guitar hanging around his neck, and he wears a watch in his ear for an ear. <laughs> well, never mind that. Tell me why he looks unusual. <laughs> I just told you. He's got hair down to here, and he wears a watch in his ear like an earring. Well, on the Sunset Strip, everybody looks like that. <laughs> well, maybe you folks out here in California are used to things like that, but oh boy, if his mother ever hears what happened to him. <gasps> Do you mean Helen doesn't know? No, she doesn't go to my beauty parlor. <laughs> Well, maybe we better get up on that sunset strip and straighten out little Herbie before his folks hear about him. Oh, now, Lucy, there's nothing we can do. What do you mean there's nothing we can do? We can try to talk to him. Oh, his generation lives in a kooky little world all their own. They don't want to talk to us. Well, maybe he would talk to us if he sees us up there on the sunset strip and he thinks that, that we're there, we're his own kind. Now, Lucy, we're outsiders. He wouldn't talk to us. Besides, I didn't come here to butt into anybody's business. I came here to see the sights. Well, then you got nothing to worry about. You're going to see the Sunset Strip. And believe me, girl, that's a sight. they'd be this far out. Oh, boy. Did you see that kook with his beard and curlers? Yeah. <laughs> How about that character with the bare feet and the braided toes? <laughs> Gee, I think I look just as ridiculous. I don't see why I let you talk me into this. Because we want to find Herbie Walton, don't we? Well, it's a... Maybe one of those weirdos knows where we could find Herbie. But remember, they don't trust outsiders. Let's act like we're one of them. Come on, just pay no attention. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hi. Oh, hi, hi, I'm Vi. <laughs> I'm Luce. Luce? That's short for Lucy. <laughs> well, what are you doing up here? We're looking for a guy named Herbie Walton. Yeah. Herbie Walton, huh? Uh -huh. What's this cat look like? Well, he's got long hair and a guitar, and he wears a watch in his ear like an earring. Oh, yeah. You mean Itchy. <laughs> itchy? Yeah, Itchy usually makes a scene around this time. So stick around. 
Beautiful. Thank you. He was talking to me. <laughs> Say, Harry. Yeah. Take a look at those new rules and see if I'm allowed to tell her to get her foot off my motorcycle. <laughs> It says here it's okay if you take your hat off first. Excuse me, miss. Uh, would you please get your foot off my motorcycle? Ah, oh, cool it, Buds. Cool it. Don't jabber it. Don't jabber it. Don't jabber me. Don't jabber me. Get your foot off my motorcycle. Cool it, man. Cool it. Cool it. <laughs> Don't blow your stack, pussycat. Don't blow your stack. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I'm going to get out of here. I want to go home. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. We want to find Herbie Walton, don't we? Well, I don't. I'm good. Look, look. There's a lot of coops going into that club across the street. Let's start in there. In the Harry eight. Yeah, that should be a good place to find a guy named Itchy. Oh, now, Lucy, I don't want to jabber me. Don't jabber me. Don't blow your stack, pussycat. Don't 
to the arrow. How about the rooster? The rooster? <laughs> No, no, we just made this scene. We don't know any uh, California dances. What kind of dancing do you do? Well, uh, I can do the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Uh-huh. Hey, that's good. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, uh, I, I, I can do the chipmunk. The chipmunk? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sing my own composition, Lament to a Small Town. I come from a small town with grass roots, blue serge suits, and turkey shoots. It's Squaresville, man, like New Moon Hay, or Groundhog's Day, or Friday night at the PTA. Yeah, the dialogue's dull as dull can be. They say things like, Long time no see. Or oh, howdy, neighbor. Golly gee. Yeah, or a village fool when he blows his cool will come on with a bye, Jiminy. Well, I split these scenes before my teens had to take my leave on Christmas Eve because I sealed Santa up in the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> I could hear him shout that he wanted out as I grabbed his sleigh for my getaway. On, hipster. On, swinger. On, playboy. On, bunny. Let's get to the city and go for the money. Merry Christmas. <laughs> The worst thing you ever heard? Yeah, and it'll probably sell a million copies. <laughs> oh, Itchy, that was groovy, man, groovy. Yeah, we dig you, cat. We'd like to buy you a splash. Yeah, sit down, have a splash over this, Itchy. Yeah, groovy, groovy. You, uh, you really come from a small town, Itch? Oh, you better believe it. A place called Danfield. Real dope. Why did you make up your mind to leave there? Uh, a while ago, and I came out here with all of these cats, and I dug all this swinging action. Well, don't you miss your parents or ever think about them? Well, you know, they're okay, but that mom and dad scene is really a drag. That's a drag. Well, not that they should be stamped out or anything, you know, but that Maggie and Jigs action is pretty hard to take. Maggie and Jigs? 
Herbie Walton, you ought to be ashamed of yourself talking about your parents like that. Herbie Walton? Yes. How do you know me? I'm Mrs. Bunsen. Mrs. Bunsen? From Danfield? Yes, and this is Mrs. Carmichael. Maybe you remember her. She used to live there in Doleville. Well, yes, yeah, sure, but well, what are you two doing here? Yes. Like this? We're trying to find you, Itchy, and bring you to your senses. Oh, well, now, Mrs. Carmichael, I was just putting you on. What do you mean by that? Well, I thought you were like all the rest of these characters, and I didn't want anybody to get wise to me. Get wise to you? Wise to you about what? The hair and all this jazz. Yeah, you don't really think I turned out to be one of these kooks. Well, then what are you doing here like that? I'm just getting some material that I need for a thesis. A thesis? Yes, for my psychology class. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, believe me, I can't wait to take this wig off. Oh, it's a wig. Oh, well, are we glad to hear that? Listen, will you do me a favor? Sure, what? Uh, what time is it? 30. Oh my gosh, I gotta be cutting out. What? I mean getting back to the dorm. But it oh, was the dormitory. Nice to see you. Oh, uh, I'm so glad we found you, Herbie. Good luck with your thesis. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, when I write Mom and Dad, I'll tell them I saw you. Uh, but uh, I won't tell them how you look. Oh, uh, well, now, aren't you glad we came? Everything turned out just fine. Yeah, for once, one of your crazy schemes didn't backfire. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs>